नमो नारायण स्वामी जी नमो नारायण टुडे द वर्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस इज दुर्गम आत्म स्वरूपिणी दुर्गम आत्म स्वरूपिणी दुर्गम दुर्गम आत्म स दुर्गा स दुर्गात्मा दुर्गमात्मा स्वरूप द वन हु इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द दुर्गम आत्मा दैट इज दुर्गा दैट इज अवर इष्ट दैट इज अवर देवी दुर्गमा दुर्गा माता ओके सो आत्मा इज दुर्गम आत्मा ही मीन्स परमात्मा द सुप्रीम सोल द कॉज विच ब्रह्मन हु इज द कॉज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स सो दुर्गा माता दुर्गा देवी इज लाइक टू द परमात्मा द सुप्रीम सोल एंड द कॉज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स परमात्मा ब्रह्मन इज कॉल्ड नित्य शुद्ध नित्य शुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त स्वरूप स आत्मा लेट अस सी दिस डेफिनेशन नित्य इटर्नल देर इज नो बिगिनिंग टू इट अनादि देर इज नो एंड टू इट इट्स ऑलवेज देयर दैट इज द ओनली रियालिटी दैट ऑलवेज देयर एवरीथिंग इज इज शंकराचार्य से एवरीथिंग इज एल्स इज माया ओके और वट यू नो देर आर डिफरेंट interpretations of vedanta shuddha advaita kevala advaita vishishta advaita and all that but we are not going into that we are just going with this general definition nitya shuddha shuddha is pure there is nothing more pure than the brahman it is the it is shuddhata itself that's a pure pure purity shuddha there is no shabalata there is no guna to the atma satvarjatam guna don't apply to the atma so it is just purity nitya shuddha buddha the enlightened the paramatma is enlightenment itself it's beyond us to grasp it but it's enlightenment itself and mukta free it is not attached by maya it is not attached by anything mukta swarupah nitya shuddha buddha नित्य स्वरूप सॉरी नित्य शुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त स्वरूप स आत्मा ओके दैट्स व्हाट इज दैट इज व्हाट इज प्रोपाउंडेड इन द ब्रह्म सूत्र बादरायण सूत्र रोट दीज एफोरिजम्स टॉकिंग अबाउट एफोरिजम्स द वर्ड्स दैट वी आर द एडजेक्टिव ऑफ देवी दैट वी आर सीइंग दे आर लाइक एफोरिजम दे आर लाइक सूत्र वेरी फ्यू वर्ड्स एंड देन open for interpretation so we are interpreting it according to our whatever you know at least my in my whatever little understanding i have so i am interpreting it my way how do we interpret that first of all we look at the literal meaning as i am trying to say what each word means how the words are bound together and from guided by the literal meaning then comes interpretation so durga mata is like paramatma the brahman itself she is as as profound and as big as that as so that is why she is called durgam atma swarupini okay. durgam atma swarupini and like uh, it was explained she is that swarup in devi mahatmya there is concept of god of that ultimate truth as devi as mother it is said that brahma vishnu mahesh they at some point enter into dissolution and there you have patasya putrasya puteshayanam well balam kundam sasmarami and what is he doing when he is with the big toe in his mouth he is remembering that because it is said in devi mahatmyam that he had got a glimpse and he is trying to recollect and reach that link again and what is that that is the form of devi the highest form which is possible there is one philosophy which looks at god as father 
and there is another which looks as god as mother god is neither father nor mother but the energy the swaru the form how can we connect to it that is something which is very important we are always closer naturally to our mother whenever you get hurt what is the first word which comes to your mouth ma hi 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 go hi hi because that is and most most of the times that is also the first word a child utters ma when it cries so the mother is very close and we are also psychically connected to the mother and the same way as we are connected to the physical mother we are also connected to the cosmic mother and this connection is what can draw us and pull us up that is why god as mother god can be mother father brother sister everybody and beyond but how many of us have the ability to comprehend that nirakar swarup hmm. not there that is why god has to take form sakar sadhana and nirakar sadhana and many times people say oh ye to sakar hai hum sakar nahi karte hain are sakar nahi karte hain sakar ke pare koi gaya nahi hai aaj tak i'm not speaking of those uh, rare few people all of us are in the sway of sakar and so therefore sakar is like the uh, the um, ladder so that we can climb up and reach nirakar and once you reach nirakar if and when we reach then sakar doesn't have any requirement once you climb from ground floor to the first floor then you are not going to come back to the ground floor you are going to be going up and up and up if there is anything up so that is sakar sadhana and simplest form easiest form is connecting to god as mother so while speaking of the highest nirakar form this verse also gives us a way how to connect to it gulab jam dukan ke andar mein hai aap dukan ke bahar mein hai theek hai so kya वो गुलाब जाम अंदर से बाहर आना चाहिए ना या आप बाहर से अंदर जाकर के उसको लेना चाहिए दोनों में से एक होना चाहिए नहीं तो कोई फायदा नहीं है गुलाब जाम बाहर रहेगा हम यहाँ रहेंगे अनुभव तो कुछ आना नहीं है वो गुलाब जाम खाने के लिए रसगुल्ला खाने के लिए वो क्या करना है नॉलेज दैट दुर्गा इज दैट आत्मस्वरूपिणी सो दैट दिस इज दियोरिटिकल नॉलेज एंड दैट इज द प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन हाउ वी कैन गो एंड कनेक्ट टू दैट हाइस्ट दैट is being told in this simple little sutra durga mahatma swarupini